Hey everyone, so as you have read from the title, I am getting lazier. I'm not saying that you should too, this is just my temporary, I hope it's temporary, a period in which I try to find, to look for an inspiration in order for me to get up and get something done. I don't know, I'm not the only one who gets lazy, so here's three things that you should know so that I can somehow bring value to you today to overcome laziness. So the first one is to keep in mind that laziness is just a feeling. Now I don't know if I'll get a lot of confusion around here but whenever I feel lazy and I hope you'll relate to this because <laughs> that'll make this video pointless if you cannot. But anyways every time I feel lazy what's usually on my mind is lazy thoughts. Yes that's true keep watching but with that thought I subconsciously try to connect this feeling into who I am rather than just a part of me. And I think that's wrong because being lazy right now, it doesn't mean you're a lazy person. Even if you think that you've been lazy many times in a row, it won't define you. It can never define you. You can make yourself feel it, but you can also make yourself ignore it. And I'll tell you how you can ignore it with the second one. And the second one is laziness is just an obstacle. It's either you dwell in it or jump through it. Every time I look on our kitchen sink here at home, I tend to get lazy like, should I start now? Should I do the dishes later? But even with those thoughts in mind, sometimes I become aware that having them will not help me accomplish anything. So every time I become self-aware, I'll immediately start counting one, two, three, and then the moment I say three, I should be standing up and start doing the dishes or whatever it is that I should be doing on that time. So I will count one, two, three, then I will immediately stand up, whether I'm on my bed or on the couch to finish whatever I have to finish. Now, this may sound silly, but this strategy works. So if you wanna try it, go ahead and try it. There's no loss in doing it. Now the third and last one in overcoming laziness, though I don't think this is the most important of the three, but I still feel like I have to say it, and that is overcoming laziness can become a habit. Every time you learn how to do things, it is like importing a file into your brain. And as you do it more frequently, it becomes closer and closer to your second nature. It's like the more you do it, the more it becomes a part of you. Before I start making videos, I am one of those people who consider themselves as a lazy person. I know I was lazy. I hardly made any efforts that time. I just finished what I have to finish without thinking about accomplishing anything them in such a way that would make myself proud. I just do whatever I have to do whether the outcome is good or not. It didn't really matter to me up until I became sick of being lazy. I felt the urge that I don't want to be like this anymore because just as I have said earlier, I made laziness in my mind, my identity, not just a temporary feeling because of it occurring to me more frequently. But going back after I felt the urge to change, I tried to change. And then some days I notice that I'm getting productive and as I try to do it for a certain amount of days, it felt like I have this power that I can do anything because I had a constant amount of time being productive. Now, to be fair, laziness for me right now is still a feeling. There's still a lot of days when I feel like not doing anything. But as you try to become productive, more diligent, more frequently, escaping the laziness feeling won't be as difficult as it is before any longer. So like this video if you like it, sub if you haven't already, and as always, have a great day.